Hey guys, this is God of Goel, your local decal basketball agronomist. Today I'm with Joe Lawrence, who is a dairy forage system specialist with um, Cornell Pro Dairy Team. He has been an extension educator in the past and crop advisor. Uh, his main focus is on host farm system approach to forage management. And we have been listening about different metrics on silage evaluation. I want to talk to him about one of those metrics, UNDF. Before I go into too much about it, but uh, Joe, welcome. Thank you. And, and thank you for, for being here. Good to be here. Um, I want to ask you this. Um, why are we looking at, or why are the researchers looking at all these different metrics when we have had something in the system already? Why, are, why is the need to do that? Yeah, well, on, on the animal science side, there's uh, been a lot of continued research, especially on fiber digestibility related to forages. So um, in the last uh, 10 to 15 years, uh, animal scientists have developed new, uh, new metrics for testing forage quality in the laboratory, for testing fiber digestibility, and have been building uh, nutrition models for feeding uh, ruminants and specifically dairy cows that that take into account this newer understanding of um, of the fiber digestibility side. So as we move forward and think about evaluating um, forage crops like corn silage, it's become more important to um, take into account this new science and new understanding of uh, just what has the most significant impact on how a cow is going to perform on any given forage. So you mentioned fiber digestibility. We have had NDFD, which is neutral fiber, nitrogen fiber digestibility, mm -hmm. 30 hour. Mm -hmm. um, why is the need of UNDF? And also, what's the difference between UNDF and NDF? So tell our customers about that. Yeah. So yeah, so it is. it, it sounds a little funny on the surface because we, we have had NDF digestibility most commonly measured at 30 hours for corn silage, and that, that is a good predictor of energy potential of that forage. Um, and UNDF is the undigested fiber after a certain amount of time in rumen fluid, and really it, it, it is the inverse of the digestibility. So you may think, why is this a, a new thing? It's, um, it sounds pretty simple, right? It's the inverse, but what they've actually found is um, it's helpful to understand the rate of digestion. So not just the digestibility at any given time point, like say 30 hours, but the rate of how that digests. So what the newer nutrition models take into account is often from a, tw a 12 hour, 30 hour um, time point, and then they go all the way out to time points like 120 and 240 hours. And that, um, and that rate of digestion is helpful in understanding how the cow is gonna uh, respond to that forage. And 240 hours, if you simply do the math, that's 10 days. And certainly we know that that forage does not stay in the cow for 10 days. However, what they found is while the 30 hour value tends to be a good indicator of energy uh, potential, that 240 hour out value has been a good predictor of dry matter intake. So in other words, that stuff that hasn't digested after 240 hours is, is uh, the lignin and stuff that's just probably never gonna digest. And what's happening is that's taken up space in the cow's rumen and it will fill her up so she's not hungry, she won't eat anymore, um, but she may have not gotten all the nutrients she needs if there's too much of that undigested fiber in her system she may not be eating enough. And we've known for, for decades that there's a strong relationship between dry matter intake and milk production. So you, you talked about UNDF to 40, and then we already know there is starch, uh, there is tonnage, and so many other things that people have to look at when they are evaluating silage. What, in your opinion, should, be, should people or customers be looking at when they are evaluating their silage? I think we've summarized it pretty well. I mean, certainly, um, starch content, overall yield, the, uh, it's still important to look at our pest management uh, packages. And then, yeah, certainly on the fiber side, um, in addition to looking at that 30-hour NDF value, the UNDF 240 can be helpful. 
you know, again, and it also, you can see some patterns related to, to rainfall and weather conditions that affect that fiber digestibility. So it's becoming a useful number. And, and going forward, um, you know, I know there's some different groups working on potential replacements to MELP 2006. And I, so uh, going down the road, we'll be keeping our eye out for that. Um, that's been a fine program, but uh, as the name implies, it was developed in 2006 and we started out the conversation saying there's been a lot of updates going on. So I think, you know, we'll be looking down the road to say, um, how do we incorporate these new updates in nutrition to, uh, to uh, an overall evaluation metric? So guys, you, have, you, you heard Joe, right? So UNDF 240 is pretty important that you should be thinking about when you're evaluating corn silage. And hope, hope we can have Joe again on our video series talking about the updates on milk 2006 and what new parameters, what new metrics we might have to use or we should be thinking about using in the future. So until then, uh, this is Gaurav again. Thank you for watching.